This is not a drill. They have added 84 new pets to Super Auto Pets in a pack called the Unicorn Pack. Kids are calling it the Unicorn Pack. It's got El Chupacabra and La Ogopogo in it. We played a, a little bit of it on stream today. That is a lie. We played two and a half hours. There's lots of new mechanics, and I don't know fully what I'm doing. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll regale you, okay? I recognize I'm covering up some of this stuff here. Maybe it would be better for this little period here if I come down here. The Axe Handle Hound. If the, enem if the enemy has multiple copies, which used to be the meta, you'd run, you know, maybe like two ants or something like that if you got them early. Deal 10 damage to one random enemy. Cuddle Toad. On sell, choose a toy that breaks after two turns. And I just don't like this guy that much. Baku. If the turn number is even, replace an ailment on a random friend with plus two health. And I know what you're going to say. Let's not take duplicates because everybody's running Axe Handle Hound just like I am. Um, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say NL. How do you get an ailment to actually get some kind of trigger to work on the, uh, the Baku? Well, my friends, there are new foods that can give your unit an ailment that then could be replaced or possibly used to trigger something even better. I know it's crazy. We're going to go four squatted. That's, that's how much I respect the... Uh, the Axe Handle Hound. Everybody is running one, so nobody's running duplicates right now. That's my two cents. Uh, also, Cuddle Toad is about to level. And Mermo gain plus one attack and plus two health until end of battle when a friend levels up. But there's lots of... The main new, like, dimensions... Holy cow, we got a payoff from our Axe Handle Hound. The main dimensions that I would say uh, are, are going off in this DLC is you can, there's lots more units that give experience to another unit. There are, there's the concept of mana. So mana can be used by units to like extend their abilities or to activate their abilities. But if you also die with mana, you do that much damage to one unit on the enemy squad, like a, like a badger trigger or something like that. Um, there's, other, there's other stuff we'll come across. There's jump. Jump is a new keyword, which is like, Units will move to the front. I know Doorhead Ant did that, but now it's like it's got a whole kind of design space built out around it. And there are units that will get triggers when friends or enemies jump, etc., etc. But let's start with the level. And on sell, you will give me a witch toy. Start of battle, give the nearest friend one for each roll this turn. You know what? We're going to go a little crazy. Let's, I, I think a mana build kind of makes sense for us here. I, uh, I apologize, by the way, because you are going to be like, NL, why aren't you reading absolutely everything? And the simple answer is that it's just not possible. <laughs> There's simply too much going on. But I'll do, you need to, all you need to know right now, I'm, I'm, if a unit has mana in its name... I am probably going to take advantage of it, okay? Wall Chicken gives you three attack, but it also gives whatever unit you give it to weakness. So you got to be mighty careful about that. Okay, you've smoked me. The other thing you need to know is that historically, uh, this weekly, I have not done very well. I got a couple 10 pieces with, with some truly broken builds, but I've, I've definitely run a lot, of, a lot of pure garbage as well. I don't really need a unit to come up to the front. I guess I, I would rather have a 2-5 out there than a uh, than not a 2-5 for that matter. Or like a, it was a 1-2. It was embarrassing. Sorry, there's so much sun coming through my window. It's, it's causing me to screw up my train of thought. Like, do, does the sun know it's January, bro? Like, just chill out a little bit. By the way, new thing. The, the game will pause if you hover over like a mechanic or an animal in order to give you a chance to actually read it. Very good quality of life change, in my opinion. You may also be like, you know, it kind of stutters when you do it, so you might think like, oh, the frames are dropping, but I promise you they are not. Don't even worry about it. So the Caligray, the Caligray Hound spends mana to remove health per mana from the two most healthy enemies. Tempting, but I kind of... I don't, I don't think it's a great payoff, me personally. Why don't you gain experience before battle? The Bigfoot gives us one free reroll uh, on faint, but now it'll give us two, I guess. I would love to take a Mana Hound, because if that levels up, we're generating way more mana. You should probably also level up and then get off the squad. We got one win. What are we on? Four life? Five life? 
for life. We're mostly just trying to have fun with it, you know? It's Try not to get too concerned right off the bat with, um, you know, having the absolute optimum builds when we don't even know, like, what's good and what's bad and what synergizes and what doesn't. And then this is just all self-contained within this pack. Like, we don't even know what's going to happen once you mix these animals in with the, the rest of the pack. Like, it's, it's insanity. Friend ahead faints. Deal two damage for each of its level to one random enemy. So this would be great on like a jumping team. And then Worm of Sand, if you roll six times, give the two highest tier friends plus one, plus one. One moment, please. Start of battle, give one random friend a head plus two mana triggers three times. Start of battle, swallow and copy a start, the leftmost start of battle pet until the end of battle. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Um, we are like a mana build, but we're also kind of not a mana build. I feel like we, we want to go Sandworm and keep the Mana Hound. Because then we have two things that do better based on rerolls. There's also, this food is really interesting. Transform one pet into another from the same tier. There's also another food called um, Compito. It transforms one pet into another pet from a higher tier. So if you have like a level three unit that's kind of like getting outclassed, if you get that tier six food, you have a chance to turn it into a unit that could save your run. It's a little more randomness driven, which I, I like. So right now, well, we're not going to roll six times on turn one, but we do get two free rerolls. I almost feel like, like it's time to lose Bigfoot. We run rock up here. The only problem with rock well we're losing our free rerolls now i'm realizing maybe that wasn't the best idea um the only problem with rock in position two is that it's going to give some mana to the mana hound instead but i guess it doesn't really matter we don't need all the mana to arrive on the same unit because we're not even using it for a payoff right now so any mana we get is just like extra attack that will be dealt to an enemy after we die so I think that this, this combined with like re-rolling could kind of go crazy, although I do wish I'd kept my Bigfoot now that I thought about it. But there are other re-rollers that we can get. There are other re-rollers. Like I, I don't think Thunderbird is really what we're looking for long term, but it could give us a level, that's true, maybe worth thinking about. Transform a pet. On faint, spend mana to summon a pet with one attack and two health per mana. This is our mana user. I can sell you. You'll also give us a witch toy. The witch toy will last six turns. One mana, I snooze. Give one experience instead. Even if it's to a random unit, it, this could end up paying dividends. And then... How many times have I rolled this turn? <laughs> Not enough. I gotta remember, if we're gonna actually use the sandworms, we have to actually use the sandworms. Like, we have to roll six times. And then it is, it's tempting to get, like, another sandworm out there. I mean, I'll admit my stats are horrible, but as long as we're generating a lot of mana, the Chimera will summon a unit that should be stronger than any unit my opponent has. Okay, they got head crab zombie. You're a 217. That's like an insanely strong unit. And yet, we hold. Okay, we, we, we're a little fuzzy with our strategy still, but we're, we're kind of getting there. Well, if we want to roll six times, like you know what that entails, right? Buying this. One, two, three, <laughs> four... Oh, five, six, seven. <laughs> but it does also, that gives us like 14 mana, right? Or it maybe, it gives us seven mana on the Chimera, which generates uh, like 714 in stats, which then of course becomes 2142 because of all the other stats that are coming out here. So there's like... We're, it's okay. I, I would, what I would say personally right now is resist the idea that you have to fully understand every step of what's happening right now. If, if that comes naturally to you, then by all means, maybe go for it. But 
If you're confused, I think that's okay. We're, you know what? We've already made a mistake here, so let's take one turn off from the, the worm scaling, which will make our Chimera substantially worse because it made our Mana Hound a lot worse. We're really looking for this unit now. It's a, a tier 6 unit called the Yeti. That is a, a very interesting... Oh, you're level 2 now, so you summon two lads. My mistake. The, the Yeti summons... Uh, or Not summons, sorry. The Yeti... Uh, at, when your turn ends, it rolls the shop three times and freezes any animals that you have on your squad, like any duplicate animals. So that would give us free rerolls, which would really power the, the, the sandworm up for sure. If we had the opportunity to get that, I would, be, I would be very happy. We pretty much have to buy this. I would also say have some mercy on me because we're going to be making some mistakes. Like we're possibly over committing to some, some lower tier units here. I, I do have to move you back, but moving you back sucks, bro, because then you lose all the triggers. But you need, you need the mana, you need the mana. So we need to put like Worm in front, which is going to make Rock hit the Chimera less often. And then the Thunderbird is going to hit the, the Worm, which is not what we want at all. But we still need the Chimera to have as much mana as possible. Then there's another unit that actually like... What's happening here? <laughs> there's another unit where you got me kid you can transfer mana from one unit to another it's the uh i don't even remember it's one moment here i can find it i think it's a tier five the kitsune friend fates trans friend faints transfer all friendly mana to the nearest friend ahead so maybe a kitsune would go crazy right right now what do i know forget about these guys for now just just try not to worry about it. we're in our own lane Unbothered, trying to make this... Okay, now we have to take it. <laughs> Sorry to you. We need this. Are we going to get... We need two more rolls, which we are not going to get. So we... Well, okay. I feel like we, the sandworm is flying in the face of what we're actually trying to do on this run. I feel like I've made a mistake. Okay, all of my units got, got perked up like crazy. Uh, oh, the nearest friend ahead, ahead of the Kitsune, of course. I've put, the, I've put the sauce on the wrong creature. And they, they nullified, again, you don't need to know the finer points, but the minor points, they, <coughs> they nullified the effect of my Chimera. So, oh, but then if I put you here, then you don't do anything, man. Oh, wait, yeah, you do, you do. You may be like, what's happening? And I support that. <laughs> I support that. Do we want to... Maybe we do want to transform you. You're not doing enough for us. You've become a level, level 2 Kitsune? You give 12 mana to... <laughs> It's not going to do it to itself. That's the problem. We want to, you know what? We give it to the Mana Hound because the Mana Hound is not actually... It's only generating two mana. It shouldn't even be on the squad, to be honest. Then we want to make sure that the Kitsune passes the mana to the Chimera. So I think that... But then you're not good. Well, this is... I, my brain is telling me that this is cooked properly. My words can't get the message out. So just work with me here for a second. Like, this is the outcome I wanted. Now we're summoning two enormous demons. Oh no, because the Kitsune overrides the effect of... I was building a squad that was antagonistic to itself. I thought the ability would override the Kitsune ability, but that's, I guess, fair enough. Okay. Make the last perkless enemy weak. This is basically like a, a bat with a guaranteed uh, trigger, which I think is, is pretty solid. I actually think that this uh, the Suchi Noko is pretty good too. And the start of battle, it jumps to the front space and gains experience. And there is some jump in stuff we can play around with. Maybe a peculiar programmer. My methods are unconventional. Guy writing all his, all his methods in public scope. No, you can't do that! 
Only public static void main should be... I'm coming from a Java background, okay? I apologize. I think we're going to run three Blargans here. And then if they end up running that dog that... Uh, like, does 10 damage to a unit if there's a duplicate, so be it. You know, that's life. It is what it is. I think we definitely lose this. I think there's no world in which we could possibly win that one. It wasn't even close. But you know what? We got five life regardless. We take our level. I love you. Minotaur. Friend ahead attacks. Gain plus one attack and plus one health for each of the friend's levels. I love that. Start of battle. I've never really tried to run the wyvern. On friendly level up, gain one extra shop reward. I guess you could get two higher tier units as a result of that. I feel like the Minotaur is really good with stuff that jumps, so I'm going to take one Wyvern and one Minotaur. And we're, we're kind of hedging our bets on, the, on jump ability here. Now, we do have a Wall Chicken. It makes sense to me... This is another jump enabler, the Jackalope. It makes sense to me to get a Wall Chicken and then sell our Baku, because our Baku will remove the weakness that has been granted by the Wall Chicken and replace it with HP. You following me thus far? I understand it. Trust me, I've been through this myself. We have a strat, is all I'm trying to say. So I think you're actually like our best unit. Weirdly enough. You know what, I'm like... We're not going to keep you... Maybe Are we going to keep you around, spend mana? Just, I, maybe, maybe we don't need a jackalope. Instead, we'll buff you and then sell you because it's an even round so you will get plus four health and remove the weakness. And now you work really well in this position. And we'll buy another. And we, we can take a jackalope for one round and maybe see how, see how our situation arises here and then you know what i'm like maybe we do have a jumping build maybe we do because you could sell the wyvern you run a drop bear now we got things that jump and the jackalope can be like position two i know this looks confusing okay here the jackalope is like a vulture that shoots when one of our units jumps so at the start of the game you're gonna jump that means you're gonna shoot right after that you're gonna jump and that means you're going to shoot. And this is also shooting the last enemy. That enemy is going to be weak. So there's a pretty good chance that it'll get a kill. And if it all falls apart, we got a good uh, unit here with 710 stats. As long as you're not bowling, those are numbers you like to see. We've re they've replaced the equipment with a Rambutan. That's all right. So I, I think we got a, a pretty solid thing going on right now. I think the results would bear that out. But we also need to figure out what we're doing, like long term. I would say, I would say you take this to make the Minotaur a little bit better. Just keep getting a little bit better, inch by inch, row by row. Gonna make this garden grow. Give one pet plus three to their lowest stat. You know what? If you're, if you're sticking around, why not? One big unit never goes out of style. And one thing they don't have in this pack is Death Touch. They got their own jackrabbit here, but we're going to shoot their jackrabbit with our jackrabbit. That's why we didn't put our jackrabbit in the final position, because I did that on stream 20 times today, and it didn't work out for me. <laughs> well, 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 okay, now we're cooking with gas. We got something going on. Free experience for somebody? I'll put it on you for now. Now, I'd love if Suchinoku got out of the squad, honestly. But we need to replace it with something, like, for the right reasons, you know? You leveling would also be nice. We have to wait on it for a minute. I don't think we have anything too relevant. I don't think we have anything relevant at all, actually. You are relevant now. And you, the, the brain crab, is relevant as well. We might have too many jumping units now. Okay, I, I don't know what their squad does. I'm figuring this one out on the fly. It's, it's rare for me to know. <laughs> they are going to generate a lot of mana. That's a given. Oh, and every time... Oh, Rambutan on that guy goes crazy. Every time you get mana, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you get mana, you shoot. So that... I could see the, the value of that. Okay, you got to go. You got to come in here. You also have to go, but it needs to, it needs to be for you. Now nobody's going to jump to the front at the start. So I think we need you at the front. 
I recognize that all of the commentary has just evolved into you, you, him, him, me. But it's complicated, okay? You can't expect to wrap your head around it in 20 minutes. It's more complicated than that. Okay, all of my units are dead. That seems bad. The worst part of it is I don't really know uh, what went wrong. <laughs> I don't. That's true. We still got three life, though. It's a nice level, potentially. I do like Bad Dog. Choose one level two, level one toy that brings doom and chaos. Friend gained ailment. Replace it with permanent plus two, plus two. It'd be nice to take both of them together, but... We are gaining a lot of ailments, huh? What about... I think I would be content with this squad right here. So run a unicorn alongside it. If they are running units that weaken, then our unicorn will buff those units permanently. See, I knew we weren't completely washed. We're, we might be a little washed. Like, we're not going to roll to 10 wins, but we got a little strategy going on still. I love you for it. Friend levels up, buff everybody. Empty front space, summon an 8-8 fire pup. It's hard to say no to that when I don't know if this jump build is going to keep going. Yeti! Roll three times while freezing duplicate pets. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We can rework our whole squad, okay? How do we rework our whole squad? You take one team spirit and then one Yeti, and the Yeti gives you those free three rerolls at the end, which allows you to get way easier levels up, including on Team Spirit itself. So cut the whole squad, Yeti and Team Spirit, and then just hope for some duplicates here. It got another Jackalope. For, I mean, not for free, because probably his stats would be higher if they changed the way that it worked, but like, they, you know, they, in an esoteric sense, for free, sure, for free. What a shot. Killing all these animals that have no other purpose being here in the first place. Okay. Two lives remain. I believe that this squad can pop. It just needs a little bit of support. Obviously take some of that. Here come that boy. This, this is a, like your enabler for a permanent jump build, but we've pivoted off of this jump build for probably not sensible reasons. We're now trying to force a level one Yeti to fix our squad and it did nothing, it accomplished nothing. Hold. This this actually looks winnable. Although those Rambutans are, are very annoying. We're gonna get some free shots out here. Wait, we're so back. What, what was I afraid about, dude? Because every round that we hold is closer to getting a level up, which makes Team Spirit that much better. We've now got tier sixes, much easier for us to find the units we're looking for. Cornucopia gives you a free tier six food from any pack you can choose. We go, we go Cornucopia into Cornucopia, just because it's always fun. A steak, well. <laughs> One peach of, Im peach of immortality is a food that scales itself, by the way. So like the more of these that you buy throughout the game, the better each one scales. On two life, this scares me. Uh, just give me the 20 attack up front and, and I'll run that instead of Easter egg any day of the week. Seems to always be more valuable on your frontline unit. Okay, my units just got crispy. Try not to think about what that means. Don't worry about it so much. <laughs> Hang on, this is a hold, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We're still in this. Take this. And two of these. And oh my god. Roll once. Nothing to freeze. But then, come on, Yeti. By the way, I know what you're asking. What happens when the Yeti levels up? Well, it rolls six times, bro. Imagine the levels we could get off of that. I am noticing a problem, though. Our units are getting close to level three, or they are all level three already. <laughs> Something we might want to consider doing something about, like like selling uh, maybe like all of them. It's hard to do on two life though. Oh, but wait, wait, whoa. Salmon of knowledge. Causes your frontline units to level up. 
Well, you got to go cornucopia. That's a given. A melon. Freeze it. Salmon of knowledge, friend level up, good friends. It's like, I, I, you see the value here. I think that maybe it, it's such a good synergy we got going on with these two, but something's got to happen, man. It's got to be, I think it's got to be for like tier sixes though. It's got to be something that really gets the blood pumping. Like another Yeti is kind of, I would almost say like a given. Enemy ailments are two times worse, so they take way more damage. This plus crispy goes crazy. I know that what I said makes no sense. <laughs> Give me two Yetis for now. A behemoth leveling also goes insane. It might actually, but then six rolls is like, it's too much to, it's too much not to mess with, you know? Let me take this. So Behemoth scales itself, and its attack and health can go up to 100. So, like, you can see how getting more of these quickly would go crazy. Manticore Red Dragon goes crazy, though. With the last enemy crisp. We don't want... It'll override this. Vampire Bat, though, is kind of crazy, because Vampire Bat would suck up all the weakness. Okay, I'm willing to give it a chance here. I don't really know if this... It, like a tier 4 unit, it seems a little late to be putting all your hope in them. We still only got one thing off the Yeti. But one day this Yeti's gonna pop and... And then you'll all be sorry. I'm not, I'm not cooked yet. I'm not cooked yet. I told you. I told you I'm not cooked yet. It feels like my squad should not be hanging, but it is hanging. This is what we needed. The Yeti. On faint, make any three random pets crisp, then summon a 6-6 six, six young phoenix. You know what, brother? I'm putting that at the back as insurance. And then Yeti, roll six times. Come on, give me some duplicates here. One phoenix. I mean, to be fair, I do have two level three pets, so I understand. But like, it also feels like I would be stupid to try to pivot the whole squad because our squad is kind of like it's still sort of winning okay we got crispy which is why we got crispy which means that we take damage but then that caused our unit to faint which gave them crispy which okay they still cooked me they cooked me with that crispy means you take six damage after one attack come on here come that boy what do you think about changing the whole squad <laughs> You, we, you are a scaler, and this is a scaleless world now. I'm going to convert you into a different level two tier six. S slip near. Start of battle, give the two frontmost friends plus one mana for each two attack this has. It's been a pleasure, everyone. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> we are going down. That seemed like not what we needed. Not saying bad, just saying not what we needed. Okay, my whole squad is dead. Their whole squad is crispy. We are not the same. They got firebirds everywhere. The whole, the whole thing is fire, man. But we got the eight on a squad where I didn't know what I was doing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. If Thanks for watching. Click the like button. Check out the unicorn pack. I'll see you next time. See ya!